Everyone, Nikki here, Snoopy161. So I'm here with week four of using that stash. Um, so I've had a dig round in my topper box and I've dug out three Gorgeous Girl decoupage toppers that I made up ages ago because normally when I get um, a sheet of decoupage I make it up so then when I want to make a quick card most of it's already done. So I have these three here and then I've got because these were part of like the goodie um do craft goodie bags uh they came with the blank cards so i've already picked out three cards to use and then i've had oops then i've had a look in my bit box and dug out all the scrap bits of gorgeous girl backing papers i had i don't I haven't so I haven't cut anything to size I'm sort of wing, winging it yeah winging it a bit this time the only thing I did sort of plan a bit was to pick um like a colour out of this that would match one of the cards so I haven't got any plans at all for this normally I cut the bits up but I thought I would just go with the flow and see how things go so I'm going to try and find some colours to go with that one so I sort of want a red a ready colour and then if I can because this is just all scraps I've got left over from other projects I've used this paper on because some of it's quite nice for men's cards I want another sort of um, colour in that so it's a lot of I could use that one so yeah I just want to use up my scraps and have a good sort of using up scrap session so that's got that sort of theme on it so I think that's going to go like that that will get lost on this I'm going to use this and as it's already sort of got a bit of shape to it I think I'm just going to trim that bit off I'm going to put my scissors back in there this time because it drives me bonkers when they're rattling on stuff. So that's going to go there. Um, my legs are doing a bit better, so thank you yet again, everybody, for their nice wishes and stuff like that. I've made sure the camera is fully charged this time, so hopefully I won't cut out because yesterday's video um, cut out and I had to recharge it and then because I had the stuff out I didn't get round to um, recording it because I didn't want to put the stuff away that I'd got out because um, my energy levels still aren't quite good and I just realised I'm trying to there's some wording on this I can't make it out but I would at least like to try and get it up the right way and then I want to use this on here somewhere I'm not quite sure how yet because I don't I'm going to have to go around this one with a pen. I could mat it onto some Miri card, but I'm trying not to have, um, trying not to use that all the time. You know, I'm trying to do something a bit different. So, definitely want something there. That I'll go around with a black pen or a ready pen. See, this is why I normally prep things because it takes me so long to decide how. I just want something there, so I might just rip down the edge on that one. And have, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Rip round the, a bit of a ripped effect, just so there's something on that there. Of course, I won't waste anything. So. Yeah, so I haven't got a plan for these cards. I've just sort of dug in my bits and so oh, I've you used that up. So that can just go there. So there's a little something there. Um, something I also have thought of. So you can tell I definitely have a plan at all. I've got, um, as shown before, I've got a bit box with... Um, loads of little gorgeous girl bits in so I'm just going to so I'm 
I had a thought out of this recently because I knew there were some bits in here that I was just not going to use at all. I don't want that. just want a little something to go on there. But I would like it to hopefully oh, look like right that. While I've had it, I'll just dig out any other little bits that I could use on these cards. Yeah, so I had a little sort out and I um, used some bits there. I won't put the lid on that because no me, I will do that in a minute. So I'm going to make a little cluster of something here. I'm a bit low on my tape, so I'm trying to, um, you know, not use it so much um yeah so yeah i thought i'd do something a bit different and not have everything totally prepped and um sort of go with the flow a bit and just see what i end up with so hopefully now my legs are a bit better and i've got most of the dates for my hospital appointments now um I'm hoping that I will be able to do these as a weekly thing. I know I put a week on it and it's not necessarily done weekly, but I'm hoping that I can do this weekly. So if there's a, a sort of theme you want me to do, then let me know. And so I've just gone round that with a promo and not pro marker. Spectrum Noir and it's DR5. So that's just, oh, I nearly forgot that bit. Let's use some different glue because, like I said, I'm low on my glues, and as I'm on a craft ban, it's trying to eat stuff out until I can um, get some. So I'm hoping to get some on Monday because a friend of mine, she gets a good deal on um, tapes and stuff like that. So um, I hope to get some off her when I see her someone. And I'm going to have a bit of time with mum and dad this weekend, so that would be good. As Monday I've got to get back for more bloods. Hopefully they're right. Uh, I still feel that's missing something, so... I think I'm going to use some clear bling. I have got red, but it's the wrong sort of red for this. So let's just cut some of this up. Normally I do my bling in sets of five, but this time I think I'm going to... Um, sets of three, I mean. This time I'm going in sets of five, just to be a bit different. Yeah, so as I was saying, if you've got a theme or something like that you'd like me to do, so I'm going to call that one done, I think. I haven't got a message or anything because these ones I'm not going to put a message on. I sort of want to keep them playing because um, these would be going to charity, I think. Yeah, unless I make one I really like, so I normally make these and I keep at least one for myself and even I don't know if I've said before but like if you've never brought gorgeous girl even like the envelopes are really nicely done like that was from one sex so I've brought a couple of sets but yeah even the envelopes are really nice and fun so I'm just going to pop that up there so I've got a pile of stuff up there to do in a video. Oh, lost one of my toppers. Um, yeah, I've got a video I want to do somewhere of... Oh, my brain. I'm sorry, my brain has just gone to mush. Um, um, project update video. Sorry, my brain just went totally then. So this one's got a little bit of something on already, so I'm not going to go too mad on this one. I'm going to keep it fairly simple but I just want to add a little something down there and I don't want it being ribbon because like I said I am trying to use up these paper stashes because 
otherwise my my box will just be over running and I'm trying to keep on top of it so I might just oh I quite like that see just something simple a little bit of ripped paper because I don't want to totally do that so I might make this just a little bit thinner because I still want to keep this bit showing because I like that so sorry you're hearing me just rip paper at the moment I'm just trying to make it thinner but still keep it a bit jagged Let's pop that in there so that can just go down there and it just gives a little something I will just cut it roughly. Normally I would, you know, measure it and stuff, but I don't want to. I don't feel like measuring today. Yeah, so um, please let me know if there's a theme you want me to do, like flowers or something. I do plan um, to do um, a, a week where I've used, like, my stamped images. So... I'm going to sort of dig my stamps out and stamp a load and then colour them in ready for doing a video with some stamped cards and they're probably, I think I'll probably keep them sort of clean, very clean and simple, like do a clean and simple stamp, stamp week. That's just going to go there and I've got a little heart I can cut out and just add. Yeah, fussy cutting is not one of my um, strong points. That's why I love die cut decoupage so much. So yeah, I think I'm going to hopefully do a week like that with the um, stamps. That can just go there. Now, do I want any bling on this? No, I think I'm, like I said, just going to keep this one very simple. But I am going to go around that with a Promark. I keep saying Promark, a Spectrum Noir. And this is JG6. So I think I might go all the way around this card. But just to uh, define it a bit more. I'm really enjoying doing these um, stash busting videos. It's... Um, so it's really making me think, oh, I must use, get on and use that stash up. Because otherwise it's just going to sit there and I think, oh, I'll use it when I need to. But this way I'm helping out a charity, well, a few charities. And also, um, normally when I do these, I keep at least sort of one card back. So it's also keeping... Um, my stash up because um, my f family um, like my dad he'll say oh I need a card for so and so so then that takes from my stash so that's just going to go in the middle there and then I roughly cut out a little heart which was like one of them from the backing sheet so I'm just going to Move that back there. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. And um, I'm going to put this on with a uh, foam pad. Just whack that in the middle. See, I'm condensing myself down again. I end up with loads of room, and then by the time I've finished doing something, I'm totally. So that's just going to go there, and I'm going to call that one done as well. So I'll just grab its envelope. Come here. There. and then this last one is completely red so I definitely want to bring that out so I've got this um, I don't know if I said I can't remember from what I've said two minutes ago but what I like is even because I might have thought it and not said it what I like about the gorge skill papers even though that's like um, it's almost like a dog tooth I think it's you know that like sort of um v pattern that will go with it so it, it's not exactly the same red but i like how they make all the colors go together and i'm just going to go that way and i'm always doing that so i'm going to go 
in fact instead of having it open like that this time I think I'm going to have it I think they call it like a tent opening so I'm just going to come down the side with that but it's getting lost a bit so I need to put it on something else Ooh. no that's not working so I've got a bit of tartan and as there's some tartan in the image I think I'm going to pop that there and yet again oh, it's so much fun ripping paper am I sad saying that and that's going to go like that and she's sort of going to go there I've also got this bit that I think I'm going to stick there and then no I'm not going to use that heart because it's the wrong sort of colour so that can go back in there so that's eventually how I'm going to stick all that down and have like that so these are quite sort of, I've gone quite sort of um, not grungy but um can't think of the word. Ripped. I suppose a bit, sh not shabby, but um, distressed, that's the word. And they're not totally distressed, but they're a bit distressed. Because I have to try and remember when I'm. That's. These straight edges are bugging me, but never mind. They can stay. Um, I try, when I'm making cards for charity, I try and think of you know different styles and stuff I can't always think well that's how I want it I have to remember that I'm doing something I had it perfect a minute ago now I can't remember ah I can go like that I have to remember that I've got to make cards for other people's taste not just mine and that's something I do struggle with a bit because I think um I get stuck in a rut a bit it's like well I like doing that so that's what I'm doing and what I'll just do is because I want that coming out of there anyway I will just stick it come over a bit more like that stick it to the card then trying to guess where I want it so I just stick that like that and then yeah that's it and I will add something there and there I think so yes yeah, just a couple of little um, cards and I well not a couple three so I hope you've enjoyed this week and let me know um, like I said let me know if there's a theme or something you'd like to see me give a go and I will see how I get on um I will try and do something a bit different so it's not always cards and um, things so yeah so where's my bling not still up with the red bling. bling can't talk anymore so but also I try not to have these videos I don't know what that is, it's got stuck in there, have got something stuck in there, I don't want it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I try to keep these videos fairly short because I don't want to be boring anybody, them going, oh, she's doing that again. So that's a, not that little one. Then there was that one, my greeny one and my sort of reds and browns one so yeah thank you very much for watching and i will see you all next week all being well so take care see you all soon bye